Uh, we have to go to Smurf in Ohio real fast. Uh, Smurf, what's up? Yeah. Hey. Hey, I was listening to uh, the Bubba Bo show on uh, XM Radio uh, late Saturday night, and they were really trashing your show. What? Why? What show? Uh, Bubba Bo. It's on the Trucker Channel. Bubba Bo? Yeah, Bubba Bo. <laughs> well, you know, if you have a name like Bubba uh, Bo, I think you should be trashing us. That's okay. <laughs> I've never heard of Bubba Bo. I've, I, I'm, yeah, I thought that was, yeah. a, all right, whatever, what was he saying? Well, they were commenting on when Dragon Wagon had called in, and right. you know how you guys were trashing Dragon Wagon. He was trashing uh, Jim Norton and all, and how Jim was going after him. And then Bubba Bo was saying, well, you guys are a bunch of losers that, that you couldn't make it on the premium, so XM Radio had to put you on the basic channel. Oh my God! You know, people saying we couldn't make it on the basics, so that's why we were on premium because they want us to talk about them. He's probably the guy. Dragon Wagon is probably a part of that show, or friend or somebody on that ah, show. Right, it's just probably a tie-in somehow with that show. Well, here's a couple things. You know, if we couldn't make it on the premium channel, they they could have just fired us. XM is not firing the Opie and Anthony program anytime soon. Yeah, okay, yeah. so. I love the people that hate the show, and they're like, well, obviously they took them off the premium channel because they weren't getting any listeners. Not true at all. We got a ton of listeners when we were on the premium channel. We're not allowed to tell you how many, unfortunately, because I can prove my point in a second. But I can tell you this much. If if we were uh, complete failures at doing this show for XM, they would just fire us. Right. Don't you get that? Uh-huh. Well, he was uh, trying to start a campaign with all the listeners. You, everybody ought to call XM to have you guys taken off or put back on a premium because you're not appropriate to be on the basic channel. Well, it, well, it figures that he's just what he is is a cock blocker. Nobody's listening to him, dude. I've never heard of him. We've been here since October. I have never heard of his show. Nope. Uh, he, he's on 171. He comes on uh, Friday nights at midnight and Saturday nights Cross at promotion. midnight. Exactly, dude. Friday nights at midnight and Saturday nights at midnight. Uh, yeah, it, it sounds like XM has a lot of confidence in Bubba. Bubba what? Bubba Bo. Bubba Bo. Bubba Bo. Yeah, he's a he's a real uh, real anchor show to this uh, platform. <laughs> Two shows, both starting at midnight. He's a jizz bucket. Nobody knows him. He can't make it, and he's, he's pissed off at Opie and Anthony getting all the attention. Who cares? He's getting more exposure right now because we're talking about him yep. than he does on his own show. And that's why he did it. You know, you want to talk about someone that uh, that uh, the company doesn't have a lot of uh, confidence in. My God, if they, had confidence, if they had confidence in Bubba Bo, he would be doing morning radio like we're, we're doing here mm -hmm. on 202, so... Yeah, well, Dude, you know, and a little a little wink here, but uh, if they weren't happy with this show, they could have ended this uh, by October if they wanted to. Yeah. So you know, it's pretty obvious. And ad it's advertisers want to advertise on the entire platform if they decide to advertise not on premium. And sorry, that's the reality. Actually, uh, the first year of the contract ends October first, but not to get into details, but basically they have to tell us. Uh, you know, three months out, if they're gonna if they're gonna pick up the rest of our contract, right? Okay. So go. So what would that be? That would be September, August, July first, uh, July first. So if we're still here July first, guess what? XM really, really likes the Opie and Anthony show. Oh, uh, I think you'll here. be. There. I, I think you guys are doing a good job. Friend. Dude, there's no doubt we'll be here. Bubba Bo is just looking for attention, and he just got some. So congratulations to Bubba Bo. Yes, enjoy your midnight show and continue to languish in the spotlight. Uh, at Friday at 12 o'clock and Saturday at 12 o'clock, you're obviously a success. And he only does weekends. He does two of shows a week. Of course so. he does. No one gives a, lot a of shit about A lot of confidence from XM in the Bubba Bo show. Uh, Josh, what's up? What's going on, fellas? How are you doing this morning? Pretty Hi, good. Josh. All right, here's a synopsis of this fucking dude. He's the fucking weekend guy on an AM midnight channel out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Ugh. It's the, wow. It originated uh, by Dale Summers, the Truck and Bozo Show, and he's a real stand-up guy, all about information for truckers and stuff. He's not uh, a stand-up guy, sir. He's a douchebag. I've heard a lot about the Truck and Bozo Show. Uh, uh, are you talking about? Are you talking about the guy that trashed us? No, uh, no, 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 no. That's that's Bubba Bo. Dale Summers. He's not actually on the channel oh, anymore. Okay. He recently actually retired or was forced out of retirement. I'm not really truly sure about the details. But his son took over, and actually Dale Summers has a show, Strickland on XM, but that's another deal. But his son took over, and then obviously on the weekends, he got this Bubba Bo dude, this fucking redneckish, regurgitated vaginal blood fart. It's the biggest tool I've seen. Dude, I don't even, I'm not even going to go into description, but I haven't even listened to the show since the original Dale Summers left it, and I've just listened to you guys ever since. I mean, it's a hell of a lot more entertaining. I keep giggling over my 
titted baby over there. I got, I got to tell you, I, I'm really, I, I feel sorry for all these people that are jealous of the Opie Anthony program. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we're getting all the attention. What could I tell you? Oh, please. You know? This the, the, this pops up pretty much once a month. Another show that's on the XM platform that's jealous of us. I, I'm attention. sorry that we're getting all the attention. What can I tell you? Yeah. That's probably got to bother them that they spent more money on the studio on the time you were off than he will ever make in his career. That's really got to be upsetting. I'd bash us if I was another show. Of course. We're, we're talking about it. Yeah, right on. We'll probably get some phone callers now uh, next weekend. Some of our fans call up. Tell them they love the show and then say, not you. <laughs> <laughs> all that fun. But it's never the type of calls. That they think they can, all think they can handle the calls, and they all think they can handle their message boards being attacked, and oh. they just have no idea. No. They have no idea. If we're failures, why is Elo coming up to New York to hang with us? You can't even address Ooh. that like it's a real, like it's, like, oh, it's, like it's a possible statement. He's just a jizz bag. Who wants to be spoken about? He's a fucking failure, and he's on at midnight. Well, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, they're very jealous of the Opie Anthony program, but they had, they had the same opportunity as Ann and I. They could have put their balls on the line to do a real radio show, but chose yeah. to follow some stupid, you know, formula that a dumb program director handed to them, and thought they were going to get big uh, doing it that way. And that's just not how you get big in radio. You got to take chances. You got to get fired. Yep. Mm. You got to put your ass on the line on a daily basis. Because, quite frankly, the people that run this radio crap are a bunch of dummies. They don't know what they're doing. If they knew what they were doing, they would be doing their own radio shows. Yep. And as soon as you realize that your boss is a dummy, you're not going anywhere in this business. Most program directors have tried doing their own show. And right. And they fail miserably. Right. So then they figure they can now tell people how they should be doing their show. Yep. For some reason. Program directors in radio are like gym teachers. That's mm -hmm. all they are. Gym teachers are, are just a bunch of failures. You know, they are, they're guys that try to make it in their sport, mm -hmm. try to be a pro in, let's say, basketball, baseball, football, what have you. Yeah. And they either got injured or just weren't good enough to make it. So what are you going to do now? It's the worst environment to put in with, with kids also. I had a gym teacher at uh, John Glenn High School out there up on Long Island, and uh, he was Gil Lilienthal. And this was a big, just a big bruiser guy. And apparently he had a contract with the Bears... And uh, right before he was supposed to start, uh, he had a, a leg injury, career-ending leg injury. Yeah. And now here's this miserable son of a bitch uh, teaching boys gym class. And you know he wasn't sympathetic to anything. He's angry every day he goes in because his football career was non-existent. He was right there. His whole life was set up to that point. Uh, he gets the leg injury, and now he's got he's to uh, uh, teach these, these kids that don't want to be there. And he was really a prick. He used to go around like smacking mm -hmm. people and stuff. Yeah, he's miserable now. Yeah, because he didn't make it. That's you know, the gym teacher. And then it's the same philosophy in radio. It really is. Even I think Elo was in on Wednesday or Thursday last week. He admitted he tried to do a radio show and he yeah. sucked at it. You know, morning yeah. somewhere. And Anthony and I, we've had program directors for the last ten years. We never took any of them seriously. Mm -hmm. You know, if we listened to the program directors we had over the years, we would just be. Just another show, do an afternoon drive, hopefully in New York. Slappy That's about it. That's about it. Des Moines. You know, but uh, we had the balls to, to, to you know, to take some chances. Mm -hmm. We had a vision, and we decided to go for it, and no one was going to get in our way. That's right. You know, but guys like Bubba Bo, they've been just listening to their stupid program directors forever. Look where it got them. Doing, like, a, a weekend shift on XM. Woo! Out of where? Cincinnati, Ohio or something? Cincy. Dude, you're not even in the big leagues. You're like, you're like, you're like, you're not even triple A. Mm -hmm. You're minor league baseball. You're like, you're like, you're not even the A leagues. You're in the, I was going to say the Grapefruit League, but that would be stupid. Just another mediocre to no talent faggot mm -hmm. who wants to piggyback and get noticed. Sorry that XM isn't paying attention to you, man. I bet it's a really funny show. He probably does a lot of good talk and he probably has the uh, 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 sound effect. Uh. He plays a lot when he wants to say something. And by the way, we have a lot of truckers that love this program. It's not about the, we love we're not, not going to get them. We're not going to get them all. We understand that because you know our humor is sort of based on like a whole northeast philosophy. But there's a bunch of truckers with open minds out there that enjoy this program as well. It doesn't matter where they're from. Bubba Bo with you. That's right. Tune in every weekend at what three in the morning to three fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Shaky, what's up, Shaky? Hey, I just got to say, I don't agree with hardly anything you guys said, but I love your show. You make me laugh. Right. And I tried telling dumb fuck 
redneck bow that, and they hung up on me. Of course. I, I mean, not even on the air. Of course, because no one... I never swore once I was polite just trying to tell him, hey, man, just because you don't agree with their beliefs or their views don't mean you need to fucking not listen or whatever. You know, here's... It's entertainment. Here's a couple things, you know. The one thing about this radio show that's unique... We don't really give a fuck if you agree with what we say on this program. This is a very real radio show where we just lay it on the line, and if you want to get pissed or you want to agree or if you want to just laugh or if you want to just change the channel, then then so be it. Every other uh, radio uh, uh, program out there has some kind of agenda, and they're praying and begging and hoping that the listeners agree with every single thing they say. Yep. That's the difference with our show. We don't care. We know there's exactly. enough people out there that are going to enjoy what we do, and that's that. Mm -hmm. No one does real radio radio anymore no one yeah preach uh, they're all a bunch of pussies howard stern is the biggest pussy out there we've been playing this xm satellite radio commercial that he did he doesn't even have the balls to uh, address this <laughs> we are just beating him up making fun of him stepping all over him he has nothing to say because he can't fight this game anymore yeah he, he had for some reason he had plenty to say when we were off the air when we were off the air there was plenty to say but the second we're back and now we can uh we can rebut Right, what he's saying. Then he shuts up. Right. Yeah. You know that's that's the beauty of the show. We're doing real radio. You know, if a Bubba Bo is going to abuse us, we'll we'll, we'll uh, talk about it on our show. No problem. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. You know, I don't care. And the the funny thing is, guys like Bubba Bo and the rest of them. Cool guy did it for a little while. That dude in uh, Orlando that we we made famous for a day and a half forgot his name already. The chicks from the Playboy Channel forgot their names already. They're all just making us bigger by talking about us. You know, these dummies don't understand how radio uh, r how radio works. You get a Bubba Bo talking about us, okay? That's just going to make more people that have XM check us out and become fans. And the reason? Because we have talent. Now the other thing's going to happen. A bunch of people are going to check out Bubba Bo because we're talking about him, and they're going to realize he's a complete failure in the business. Yeah. Stinks. Well, now I have not heard him yet. You're right. He may be I very talented. I listen in and, you know... <laughs> Mm, right. He might be funny. The favorite radio host of vampires all over the country. You late night jerk off out of Cincinnati. Yeah. Ugh. All right. So where were we? What do you do? Make little Reds game jokes? <laughs> oh well. How about that Marge shot? <laughs> Speaking of which, the the whole dragon wagon call is taking on a life of its own. And the more I listen to that guy, I think he's a complete phony. By the, the way, he is. I think he's a real phony yeah. that's just looking for attention. Oh, although well, well, I guaranteed he calls again today. Right. Guaranteed he calls today because he's a huge fan. Right. Well, there's something going on there. He wants attention, and uh, I don't know. We'll get to the bottom of that. But uh, someone made a flash animation of uh, Norton going after him. Yeah. And I think it's up on foundrymusic.com and opianthony.com. you got to check it out. It's very, very funny. Very funny. That's, that's the beauty of this show. The, the new version of this show, because I guess the technology's gotten better since we got fired, mm -hmm. the listeners are taking our bits, making flash animation, making uh, remixes. They're just going nuts with the yeah. production for this show now gotten easier so more people can do it so yeah find it all over the web uh, they're photoshopping like crazy we talk mm -hmm. about a subject next thing you know they're photoshopping our faces into situations yeah all that's on uh whackbag.com <laughs> all these websites that we really love and enjoy that our fan sites are all linked on opianthony.com mm -hmm. for the new listener uh, you know in your free time you should check some of them out hey eric what's bubba bo's website let's give that out we're not, we don't dump out of other show names on this show. You want to listen to the show? Go ahead. Tune it in. Blah, blah, blah. What was the station? If anybody knows it, say it again. Friday at, 11, at midnight, Saturday at midnight. There you go. You got a plug, scumbag. He let probably me, doesn't even have a website. Let me, make a blanket, let me make a blanket statement for this whole program. Ooh. We fear no one. We fear no one on this one program. Ugly blanket. No one. All right? We know. We know we're the best at uh, you know, fighting this game. And playing, you know, the game this way. Mm. No one will take us out. No one. Yeah. Especially a guy named Bubba Bo. Bubba Bo.